Hello guys and welcome to another marine engineering video by Adventure Story Channel and today we will see a flow design program by Autodesk which is free from a student library on Autodesk you can find and you can register there you can attach any model and you can make simulation and today the reason that I make this simulation is to show you how aerodynamics influence ship structure okay this program it's very very nice I like it because it's interesting you can make a visualization of airflow on board the vessel and the reason why I make this because something comes to my mind and I'd like to share you also with you just increase your knowledge and to have a different view how we work on board okay here what we can see we can see the flow of air okay and the velocity if you see here the velocity of red is 38 meters per centimeter the air is blowing from aft okay and that is means that we can have additional miles that our vessel is pushed forward okay but what is going on when our people is working on the deck okay this is mostly for the deck people but also engineers need to know okay as the air will blow from aft okay and the air will transfer here what differences we will have in a working environment okay that is the point that i like to transfer okay all the fumes from exhaust gases pipes here okay will be transferred here on the navi deck and what is going on if some people is working here okay they will breathe these fumes and it's not so nice okay so guys now you know what is going on and with this simulation here okay you can see exactly how the flow going also as you can see this all navigational equipment here the radars they make a draft here okay and circulate the air here it slows down okay the blue point is that the air is going with less speed okay for here we do not care on the bottom because it's immersed on the sea level in the sea water okay but here as we can see okay we have also a zone a territory that is a low flow okay that means if any fumes will be come out here from purging or something okay they will remain for longer time and this zone is also a little bit danger to stay there because the gases and the fumes will be accumulated there so we have determined together the high risk zones for any fumes any gases that can drop as you can see in the airs where it's free and no obstacles there is no reduction on the flow okay the flow is even in all the way okay and also here in the mast in the foremast here we have in some small disturbance but in most of the deck we have nice flow steady flow okay with normal pressure the difference the most difference is here close to the accommodation area and this you can find also in some books in some marine engineering books that we have also in our academy that explains what is going on with the air how to transfer okay how the gases is transferred on the deck it's very very important so guys 
I will try to make a simulation in the different, okay, in the next video, in the different flow, the flow will be forward, okay, and we will see how the flow change if the direction of air is changed, okay. We have 360 dimensional for air, okay, to coming, the angle, the air can blow from everywhere, okay. If there is blowing from port side or starboard side, we do not care because the gases they go away, they will not disturb us. And the most problem we have when the air is going from aft and from forward, okay? Because if you have in these areas here some PV valves open and we make purging, and the airflow will be transferred there, okay? And all the gases will go to accommodation area. For that reason, we will need to adjust our air conditioning system, and also very important at ports that it's limited the suction from outside. Okay, not completely close because if it can be completely close, vacuum will be on accommodation. Okay. So adjust your accommodation pressure a little bit positive than outside atmosphere so the gases will not go inside because if you have vacuum inside the gases will be easy to come on board. Okay. And this is you can see also from very very close how it's going on. Okay, with the with the increase of the air, these lines will change. Okay, they will change position. So we will see in the next simulations how it's going on and what to look for. Okay, now the speed of air have increased. The spare the airspeed is. The wind is 93 meters per second, as you can see here. Okay. And let's increase a little bit more. Okay, this is more than hurricane to 150. Let's see if our simulation will run and how it will run. It's a little bit working, okay, because this simulation is a little bit high on the demand but with this program you can make any simulation you want you can add cars you can add any uh, any design okay you can add any design whatever you like and you can make a very nice simulation i like this program i really like because you can make whatever you want. As you can see, if our airspeed increases, okay, this zone it's little bit disappear, okay. The drag is so high that is suck all the air that is inside here because it's like the venturi pipe, okay. When we have a high flow here, whatever air it's accumulated in this area, okay, it's also been dropped here. Okay. As you can see, this is the high areas with the red, where the air can blow. And as you can see, if we have so high air flow, okay, if we have so much high air flow, okay, that means our exhaust gases cannot go outside, okay, the pressure is so high, maybe we will have a disturbance of the exhaust gases, okay. And what is going on if we have the exhaust gases disturbance our exhaust gases of main engine will be increased okay the flow will be changed so we can compare our observations on the exhaust gases and also it's very nice and important to check the exhaust gases through different weather conditions okay to monitor to have in mind what is going on and to have a better and clear vision of engineering equipment.
like managing and diesel generators which is connect here on these pipes let's reduce the wind speed as low as much uh, much possible okay to one meter per second okay that means we do not have any air at all but as i have observed the most kind of wind that vessels have is the front wind okay that we must stand there and make a clear identification okay of that condition so i will add a different blowing style okay we will blind we will uh, bring our air from front okay so i will try to reduce to minimum so our simulation is running still running okay if you increase here the simulation okay if you put high it will be much much slower the computer okay so i will put to lower so the simulation will be faster and the resolution will be less okay also here we can have a drag plot which explains the cd okay we will have a drag graph on the bottom okay which is very important if drug coefficient is going down okay it's reduced that means we have a better equipment we have less drag that means our equipment can flow between the air molecules better and faster so the design of the ship plays a big role okay how it will be designed for the reason that the ship not only having the water friction okay they have also the air friction and the air drag okay i will make the simulation a little bit later okay so i will be wait and i will show you some different visualizations that we have here we have tubes we have lines before you have seen lines we will see the tubes and we will see also the particles and ah now as you can see okay now as you can see we have less flow okay and as you can see here this area it's draft okay and the flow it's most here it's steady okay it's more steady and nice okay so the gases will be blown here will not stay but here the flow is reduced very very much as you can see it's going very very low here also we can see bunker vents also the fumes remain here because some of bunk vents bunker vents remain here okay and even if we have side air if we have uh, port side or starboard side the fumes remain in that area so avoid also to stay for a prolonged time there and also until air if it's blown from the forward which we'll see here it will remain more time here okay because the air speed will be reduced until going here so guys you will watch also the forward simulation to see exactly what is going on here it's the simulation with the tubes you can see the tubes okay you can see the lines which we have before you can see the particles okay and we can increase the particles here to some thousands also the tubes can be increased so many many tubes okay one moment if as you can see we need to have a stronger computer to make a better visualization okay so let's reduce a little bit the countings so to speed up our simulation 
as you can see it's much much better and we have more we can increase also the speed okay and also we can reduce this one it's much much better okay we can see exactly how the flow is going on and we can make it longer in the length okay that one very nice visualizations it's very important to have a clear visualization and here it's much much faster if you have a stronger computer you can make your visualization much much faster and better and more accurate okay let's see now a different flow okay guys now i have flip off a different side the vessel and we have a different view okay i have used lines here okay and i will try to make a speed up a little bit and to make a little bit more bigger length on that one what i did is that i flip the vessel i take the picture on the paint okay i reverse it and that's we have that is what we have here now okay we have a different flow okay it's reverse here we have the biggest pressure here biggest speed also okay and as you can see here what is going on the air is stable here but it's more better okay we have flow that take out everything and let's see if we use lines also lines it's very nice okay i will increase the count of the lines oh the simulation it's a little bit more and more heavy okay if i reduce okay the length i will re increase the length so it will be more and more visible we can make I will go, I will drag it down, okay. One moment to reduce first. The simulation really start to be very, very difficult because for this kind of simulation we need to have really, really strong computers. Okay, we'll try to reduce. Okay, now it's much, much better. Okay, for my, com my computer, I will try to make as much as less. And also, you can determine here the particles, okay, how they are going through the deck. Okay, let's increase the particles here. This simulation is also very nice. Okay, and you can see the particles, okay, how they're moving. Okay, let's see here close, okay, some of them hits here, slow down a lot, and also here, uh, check here what some particles do. They almost stop the flow. Very nice simulation. And let's go back again to the lines. Okay, you can make zoom a lot. You can make really, really zoom a lot. So you can determine even in detail what is going on. Okay, let's make higher length or like this, like this small lengths. Okay, and a lot by count check how much uh, throw at the beginning how many particles and how they hit speed okay this one is much much nicer and size also we can increase 
the size. This is also very nice. But we have less detail. Okay, let's make the size smaller. Okay, like that. And we put lines. Lines and love them much because you can see more details. As you can see, that is it. We show exactly what is going on. In this condition, it's much, much better because all the air is dark. Only the we have the only one problem we have if we have make purging here. Okay, and we have gases. They go direct to accommodation here, and this is the area from where the condition have the suction ports. Okay. Check here what is going on here. There is no any air drag. Okay, the flow is so stable of air. It's only slightly moving. Okay. That's why sometimes if you drop a paper here, okay, this follows the ship, okay, and go back because also there is a drag water and air drag. And as you can see, okay, if we increase the speed, let's say we'll increase the wind tunnel speed to 60 miles. 60 not miles, six, 60 meters per second. Let's see what will change. Okay, the speed for sure will change. And it's working, 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 working. Okay, that is it. That's what we have here. Okay, we have the indication here where is the high flow high velocity areas so if we make a better design here okay on the new vessels for sure we will avoid this drug which is unnecessary it reduces the ship speed okay which converts to horsepower kilowatts per hour Okay, a lot of consumption. The consumption increases as the drag increases. Okay, and we have here the drag plot. Through all the construction. Okay. We have here calculated the drag force. But okay, if we need to calculate, we need to have exactly uh, to know the dimensions, okay? Here we have some lengths, but it's not properly. We need to send or set also the lengths, the widths, so we have a better view, okay? As you can see, we have the average drag. And now it's the air which is coming from here it's going with 60 meters per second and as you can see here because we have a nice flow here steady flow we have a disturbance here okay like a wall okay and heats here and there it's compressed and after it's moving from somewhere okay it tries to release okay like a pressure and then significantly here in this point the pressure the velocity okay increases it's very very interesting to understand what is going on from the flow from this view of point so you can download this program free from autodesk I love this program i will make some more videos about that thank you for watching stay tuned to adventure store channel 
more videos coming bye bye